now. Um, so everything has been ripped off. Um, it's a bit yellow and light because it's quite dark today because it's raining. But yeah, I'm hoping today I can start filling some pieces in. So I'm going to put like filler, wood filler all in there. But some places are worse than others. And it also needs sanding now, sanding down as well. Um, we've done some drawings here for the panelling. So this is the wood that we're going to use. And then, um, yeah, that way up. So it's going to go there. And if you can see, it's a bit hard doing it with one hand. But yeah, and then we'll have some boxes. Oh dear. Then we have some boxes going here as well. So I want to try these testers. I've got white cotton here. And then I've got rock salt and white mist. So the white mist is there. Um, and the reason why I'm trying all different colours of white is because I don't want just plain white. We've just been getting on the job and I almost forgot to film. But yeah, this, the moulding is now on, on this part of the stairs. Um, it goes all the way up to the top, but that's going to be a dilemma, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, the stairs have been filled with the holes, parts that need to be mainly sanding down. I have bought some paint um, over there, which I'll show. Um, this paint is going to be for the walls. That moulding is on now, so I'm going to start this one now. And I've got some paint and library paint. Um, this is the slate one. It is quite expensive, but you'll see the finish is so nice compared to just normal paint. Now that we've started to put in the moulding, I use some decorative caulk just to fill in the gaps. And what that does is that it gives it a nice seamless look when you've painted. I actually enjoy this bit, it's actually very therapeutic as you can see here. I love getting my fingers in and this is actually the best way to smooth it out. Then I usually get a damp um, soapy cloth and then I just wipe off all the excess after. To get the angle right. So I've measured it out, I've done a straight line from there to there. Mm. See, so that's angle A. That's angle B. Then I've got to do C and D, and then I've got these so that I'll cut all the others to the same. So then they should all match. Okay, because he's refusing to get one of those angle things. A protractor. Protra no, that angle thing that you put on and then cut or insert a picture. Um, so I told him to use a protractor, but he's still adamant that he can do without. So let's see the progress. Anyway, this is the main one that's gone up now. So that's all the way up. Semi painted the walls. This is a completed wall that's painted look at the color so much nicer i don't know if you can see the difference so that is white at the top can you see yeah so it's like a nice warm white so this one is done i need to do up there and then underneath here which is an absolute mess and then that side i can't decide whether let me stand here I can't decide whether I should put an R work up there and then have like, oh, I'm going to have this, have a picture like there, or even maybe I'll just put the artwork and then just see how it looks. Because um, I didn't want to put two pictures because there's two pictures here. Like, I know I love that gallery look, but this is not a gallery, this is a house, you know? Um, and the family portraits are not going here, they're going back up here. Um, Cause yeah, I just think it's nice telling the story. This is the sister. You're gonna cut that out? No, I'm keeping it in. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna take this off in a bit and paint behind there. 
how the stair paneling is on and it's looking so beautiful he actually did really well and where there were some gaps and imperfections i just put some caulking in there again to fill in the gaps so that when we paint it again it looks really seamless so here i am here just prepping the walls taking off all our gallery pictures um sanding down again any imperfection this side has been done you can see the difference here between the warm white and the and the white here's my daughter trying to help us even though she reluctantly got involved but yeah it's looking really really good So it took us about a day or two to paint and do a second coat on all the walls. Um, obviously the ceilings are pretty high as well, so that was a bit difficult. But hubby, we did some incentive thing with the broom and we, we managed to get that sorted. Anyway, it was now time to paint the stairs and that was a difficult bit as you can see here. Even though we did use wood filler to fill in a lot of gaps and a lot of sanding, the stairs were very imperfect. So I use a Dulux paint here, purposely made four stairs, but it did require quite a number of layers. I think I did about seven in the end. And then we had a problem at the end of the stairs. So here I went to b q to get some flexible wood because we wanted to give a curve effect at the, at the bottom of the stairs, again, due to imperfection, but it was gonna look really good. So it was a win-win. So I bought these light switches. Um, to add in the hallway it would just feel like it will really bring it together and elevate it i know it's going to be a bit annoying because already you can see there's like fingerprints on there um but it's just a matter of us to just keep on top of the cleaning but when it is clean it looks so so nice but yeah this is like the double one here so yeah it was quite difficult to put in <laughs> I decided to put some wall art, um, something I was going to make myself. So I wanted to get a picture light frame that was here, one with a very nice modern shape and I'll show you later on. Um, so that's hubby just drilling some holes into the wall for that. Next I was doing more layers on the stairs as you can see here. I just wanted it to look really smooth and it to look really fresh, um, like it's completely brand new. So it did require a lot of legs. I'm not sure if it was the paint entirely. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it just kept going over and over. this is a whole hallway makeover so it includes the landing as well at the top so all the doors were painted as well um, and here i was using the dulux paint for the actual doors to give it a nice pearly satin look and the walls were paint and library soft warm white so going back to the stairs we actually reused um now going back to the stairs, we actually reused the grippers from our old calf here. Why not? You know, it's all about recycling. And then we bought some few fresh ones as well. Um, but they were in good working order. So we just placed them down here. Um, and then we used the old underlay as well because they again they were working very well. There's no point in buying another one. Um, so we hubbies there cut them out into pieces. And yeah, finally we put the carpet there. It was a struggle to decide on the carpet, but I decided to go with this one because the actual sizzle one that I wanted, that style, hair and bow, was very expensive. I think it's gonna be like 500 pounds. And I got this only for about 150 pounds from eBay. And all it was, the difference is, is that the hair and bow is slightly wider. Um, the material here is got cotton edges and I decided to go for the thin cotton edges because I was told that it does collect a lot of dust and it's difficult to clean. So with a family like ours, I thought to keep things simple, I will just have the thin edge. So hubby is using a staple gun here. That's the best way to really install the carpet. We actually watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to install this ourselves, And yeah, we just got on with it. <laughs> Remember this hallway makeover was bougie on the budget and we definitely achieved that. I am so happy with the results. A lot of it was DIY and it was, inspired by so many beautiful hallways that i have seen and i'm so glad that we achieved the look now i want to talk more in details about how we did this in another video so please come back for part two and i'll be giving you a proper tour thanks for watching